Welcome to my channel YouTube. It's your boy Steven and in today's video we're going to be installing a reverse service. Um, been at this job all day. It's like 3.30 so I'm going to have to knock this out real fast but I thought it would be cool for me to share it with you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you guys do hit the thumbs up and subscribe button and let's get into it y'all. Let's go. YouTube, hopefully everybody's having a blessed day today. Thank you guys again for all y'all support, man. Your boy truly appreciates it. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, we're gonna be installing a reverse service receptacle. Uh, this particular one will be the Generac model. Um, so I'm gonna just take you guys step by step on everything that I did. If you guys did not know, on June the 1st, that was the official first day of hurricane season. Uh, so we've been getting tons of requests from customers wanting to get reverse service receptacles installed on their home. Uh, so if you guys didn't know, basically the reverse service receptacle will plug into that actual plug that you just saw, you know, and you will plug it into your portal generator uh, especially if you don't have a standalone you know at home so basically that's what we're gonna be doing right now uh, this particular box right here is the generac model but they have tons of other models uh, so right here you see me basically just tracing it out uh, the customer kind of wanted it right up under their meter can so I got an offset nipple and I'm basically just tracing out my circle to kind of get it marked out to see exactly how it's gonna look once I do that the next thing for me to do is get my drill bit we're gonna knock out a half inch hole um, you'll see me pull back the wires towards me so that my drill bit whenever it goes through it doesn't nick any of the wires uh there was a lot going on in this panel so i just wanted to be very careful with it um i started off by knocking it out with my quarter inch drill bit and then basically all i did was upgrade it to the three eighths uh once it knocks out with that then we'll upgrade it to our green lead and then knock out the actual half inch uh, i really didn't want to use a hole saw in this scenario especially with all of the wires and stuff like that so i went and used the green lead route um it was a little safer to me in my opinion so that's what i did and this job right here you know we were there the entire day you know we had tons of things to do you know we had a lot of open splices we had a lot of receptacles we needed to fix we needed to put new light fixtures in the bedrooms and things like that and I thought I was managing my time properly, uh, but it got a little away from me, you know, and that's, a, I guess, a part of, you know, leading the crew and things like that. So, yeah, uh, I wish I could have done a little better with my time, you know, instead of having to wait to like 3.30 to do it, you know, we get off at 4.30. So, but I made the most of it and I still thought, you know, it would be cool to share this with you guys. So, as you guys see right now, I have my offset nipple right there. Basically, all I'm doing is just tying in my lock nut. And all we have to do after that is make sure that the box is level. Um, so, that's what you guys are seeing me do right now. Now, basically just making my marks uh, to make sure everything is gonna be nice and neat whenever it's time to drill our holes in there I know it's something small but those five to ten seconds that it takes to make sure something is level you know just speaks values of you and the pride that you take in your work so you know just be conscious of that you know whenever you guys out there doing anything with that being said all I have to do now basically I'm gonna be using my extension bit and we're gonna be tightening down our screws to the actual home uh, so that's what you guys seeing me do right now once we do all of that um, basically we're gonna check the level make sure that everything is good and, you know and after that we're good to go as you guys can see right now everything checks out so looks good to me now the next thing we're gonna be doing is moving some of our breakers around so that we can have space to actually put our two pole breaker in this panel this particular one that we're installing will be 30 amps um, they also have some that are 50 amps also uh, but like I said I did need to move some things around um, I had space at the bottom but when you're installing those reverse service receptacles your two pole breakers are gonna have to be at the top close to your main breaker uh, because you have to install an interlock kit system uh, which I'll be showing you guys towards the end of the video we're gonna be using a two pole 30 GE breaker um, and once I get that stabbed in the next thing for us to do is start running some of our wires uh, with us using 30 amps we will be using 10 gauge wire we will have two hots a neutral and a ground so basically that's what you guys see me do right now I put some black tape on one of my wires because I didn't have any black number 10 wire so I just wanted to identify it as that um, and all I'm doing now is basically cutting it feeding it through my offset nipple and we're gonna start landing everything we're gonna start with the ground wire um, if you guys can see the ground wire is already landed it to the actual receptacle and it's basically bonded to the box with another ground wire so that's where i'm going to be making my splice at right there once i get all that taken care of tighten up i'll put my wire nut on there and we'll tuck that in the next thing we'll be moving on to is our neutral when you guys are wiring your reverse service receptacles you're going to see four letters on there uh, G is going to be for your ground wire, which is your grounding conductor. Uh, w will be for your neutral wire, which is your grounded conductor. And X and Y will be for your two hots, which is your ungrounded conductor. So just check that out. Uh, if you guys forget or, you know, you get in the bind, you just can't remember. Look at the screws. Your white wire will have a silver screw and your two hots will have a gold screw. Of course, your ground will have a green screw. So just something I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, but right now, all we're doing is taking care of that. We have a few more wires left to do. An important tip for you whenever you are terminating your wires be sure to get a good tight
tight connection with it. Uh, since I've been in the trade, I've seen a lot of things happen when it comes to loose connections. So be careful with that. Loose connections do generate a lot of heat. So just be conscious of that. Uh, the only thing left we have to do now is basically tighten up the receptacle inside the box. Uh, once we take care of that, then we're basically done on the reverse service side and everything else will be done in the panel. Uh, so that's all you guys see me do right now. It's three screws. You got to make sure that they're lined up. Once you get that lined up, then we all good to go. And this is the final look of the receptacle in the actual box. Um, once all that's taken care of, all I got to do now is put my cover on. And the next thing we're moving on to is wiring our ground wire. Uh, with this being the first means of disconnect, we can put our ground and our neutrals on the same bar, but I still end up separating them just for good practices. You never know. Uh, so that's all I'm doing now is taking care of the ground wire. It is tight in this panel, so I needed to be very careful with a lot going on, but that's all I needed to do is wire that. And then once we take care of the ground wire, we will be moving to our neutral side. Um, I'll show you guys further in the video you will see that I actually put my two pole 30 breaker on the wrong side it wasn't a big deal um, just the way the main breaker was set up it needed to be on the right side so that's what I did uh, I hadn't shared with you guys but over the last month and a half I have been running my own truck so doing my own service call jobs and things like that so it's been a pretty cool experience you know uh, definitely a lot of learning a lot of learning when it comes to time management you know just getting that experience of doing certain jobs you know kind of figuring it out you know while i'm out there so all in all it's been great you know i'm just trying to maximize my career you know and just do the best that i can um not only am i out there doing the jobs but i have someone that's working with me uh so now it's my job to you know to teach them the right way you know and kind of help them further their career uh so it's been a just cool experience you know uh, i can definitely say my previous experience being a retail store manager has definitely helped me out when it comes to you know being in that leadership role so it's been something that you know i'm just very very happy with and i know i'm gonna continue to get better at it you know as i'm steady doing it so yeah man i really really am uh enjoying it once we finish landing this last while i'll show you guys an overview of how everything was connected uh, i tried to make sure that every Everything was nice and neat as I possibly could uh, we have our ground wire here and then we have our neutral over here the last two things will be our two hot wires that will be for our two pole breaker now we wasn't able to actually finish the job uh, we had to end up coming back which is what you guys see me do right now uh, we had all of our wires and stuff taken care of but we didn't put the interlock kit system on it uh, and that's what you have to do whenever you are installing these reverse service receptacles if you guys remember in the earlier video I told you that I had to swap it so I moved it over to the right side it was a two pole 100 so that's what I did uh, this right here is the actual interlock kit system what I would recommend is when you are getting these for your home or whatever it might be uh, take a picture of your panel you know get the actual Actual number so you can get the right one uh, it's been times you know when we've tried to install them we didn't have the right kit so just be aware of that um, it kind of is very self-explanatory all you need to do is kind of have it lined up the way you need to make your markings it comes with drill bits um, once you get your drill bit basically all you need to do is get your analog kit and kind of screw it in um, it's supposed to slide up and down in a certain motion this allows you not to be able to turn your two pole breaker on with your main breaker on and the reason why you don't want to do that is you don't want to potentially back feed to the utility side which could potentially harm a lineman worker um, who is thinking that there's no power to it but with us back feeding it can harm them so you definitely just want to be careful with this make sure you always install your interlock kit system be safe and don't get nobody hurt uh, this is what it actually looks like on the actual panel cover uh, as you guys can see I can't turn that brake on until my actual main breaker is off this is what it looks like from the back you see the screws and this is what it looks like from the front uh, right now all I need to do is check voltage real quick to make sure we actually get our 240 and we are so we're good to go all I need to do is cover everything up Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys, as I always say, for y'all support, man. Your boy truly appreciate it. This right here is the finished product on how everything looks. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it was informative to you guys. Uh, if you guys do, hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. We just hit 8,000 subscribers, so thank y'all again, man. And I'll see you guys in the next one. We out.